Hey Shadows, how's it going? Shadows Sick here. Welcome to the Games is Gold. August. Yeah, it's August, yeah. Yeah, August, okay. Anyway, let's just get into this. Now, I am cold as fuck, hence this attire. Uh, yeah. Anyway, because also, why not? Now, um, this month, we do have Runbo still, uh, which is until the 15th of this month. Uh, if you want to know more about the game, check out the previous Games with Gold uh, that I did. The, um, it would have to be the actual game you need to check out because the game didn't come out until it actually got, was available to be free, so I couldn't technically do a video on it or even talk about it because it technically wasn't out yet. Um, so, yeah, you'll need to check out the actual video itself. Anyway, uh, what's popped up next is Slime Rancher, which is like another shitty, looks like another shitty, uh, Games with Gold Xbox One, uh, and it's available from the, uh, 1st of the 8th to the 31st of the 8th. Yeah, so it's only available for this, like, month. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Then we've got, uh, Bayonetta. That's available uh, from the 1st of August to the 15th of August. It also plays on Xbox One, which is pretty cool. So if it doesn't, might as well just install it on the Xbox One and just uh, play it on there. But Bayonetta, I've heard about Bayonetta. It's fucking smexy as fuck. And Slime Rancher, I never heard of it, but it looks shitty. Anyway, uh, so that's that month. Nick, well, later on, halfway through the month, available on the 16th of uh, August will be Trials Fusion on the Xbox One, which uh, looks pretty sick. I've never played it. I played the first Trials, I think, that I actually own, but never played this one. Uh, Red Faction Armageddon is the game that's available on the 360. Never played it, but I heard it's good. I uh, played Red Faction Guerrilla or Galia or whatever the fuck it's called. Didn't like it, not gonna lie. Um, but these are both of the... Well, Trials Fusion's available till the 17th of the 9th, so that's the extended over one, kind of like how Rumbo is at the moment. And Red Faction Armageddon is ending at the end of the month. So let's move on to the descriptions. So let's go to Slime Rancher first. It's about a uh, four and a half star rating. What the actual fuck? Uh, originally around 2495 NZD. It's a G rating. A Slime Rancher is the tale of the... What? Beatrix Lebu, a plucky young rancher who sets out for a life a thousand light years away from Earth in the far, far range, where she tries her hand at making living wrangling slimes with a can do attitude. Plenty of grit and her trusty vac pack, Beatrix attempts to stake a claim, a massive fortune, and avoid. A conscious per peril that looms for from the rolling, jiggling avalanche of slimes around every corner. Like, what the actual shit? This game doesn't look good at all. Okay. So it was published by Monimi Park. It's approximately 911.28 uh, megabytes. It was released on the 1st of August. So it was released the other day, actually. Luckily, I'm doing this, filming this game with gold. On the third, even though I should have uploaded it earlier. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it on terms of that. Um, zip four point nine rating, uh, one four star and nine five stars. Why? Uh, joins my love of oh Viva Pinata. So someone that fucking loves Viva Pinata. I never review anything, but this charming game is worth every second played, and all the time I now think about slimes. That's by Scabby Red. It's a five star. It was published on the. Uh, his rating was put on by the second of August, so yesterday for me. Uh, a bit slimy. Fun gameplay. Well, enough challenge for all. With with enough challenger for all ages to enjoy. Feeding slimes their favorite food gives you bonus resources to sell at the market for coins, to buy better gear and upgrade your ranch. This game is still early. In early access, so still adding more new areas and slime types to capture and farm plus content, more content to come. Four stars as this game isn't finished yet. Oh, so he must have played. Oh, shit, he. This dude, Weta, got to play it like back in 2016 on November the 24th. And then we got a fucking five star uh, emoji by unknown emoji rating unknown uh, 20th of the 6th, 2017. 
and it's just fucking spammed with sad faces and crying. I have no idea why. But anyway, honestly, this game just looks shit as fuck, but that's just me because it's not my type of game. If you like Viva Pinata, I'm pretty sure you'll probably like this. Anyway, on to the next one. Bayonetta. How far are we in? Six minutes. Bayonetta. Uh, originally around 39.95 NZD dollars. Uh, this is the 360 uh, description. It's an R18 rating. Well, of course, it's fucking sexual as shit. Um, like, das, like, seriously. Uh, is this the first Bayonetta? Oh, it is the first Bayonetta. I heard Bayonetta 2 is way better, though. Yeah, this is only Bayonetta 1. I need to get Bayonetta 2 as well. Uh, this game is about 6.81 uh, gigabytes. It was released on the 22nd of the 2nd, 2011. Uh, yeah, 4 star rating, but 199 uh, submission ratings. And yeah, doesn't have any... Uh... Oh dude, there's a theme. I might download that theme. Uh, but yeah, there's no... um. Additional content, as far as I can see. That's that. Let's jump over to the actual description because Xbox Ones have really good descriptions. Okay, so it was uh, published by Sega uh, on Xbox One. is about uh, four and a half stars. Uh, R18 still. This game on uh, this game's on demand supports English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. From the creative genius behind Devil May Cry and Resident Evil comes Bayonetta, a game of 100% pure, unalterated. Climactic action. There's a lot of climaxes in this game. <laughs> uh, with powers far beyond the comprehension of, of mere mortals. Our heroine, oh, heroine? Bayonetta fights countless enemies and evil forces and giant foes in brutal yet graceful ways. Yeah, I know all about those graceful ways. Uh, cool. It's about 4.7 on here with a 1 4 star and a 2 5 star. No actual ratings yet, though. All right, let's move on to the next one, Trolls Fusion. Uh, so this is published by Ubisoft Entertainment. It's a PG rating with a four-star rating. Twenty-eight, originally around twenty-eight ninety-five NZD. Uh, let's read the description. Built upon the Trolls franchise, proven gameplay foundations, Trial Fusion challenged players endlessly in both classic and all new ways. It melds the classic proven. Trials formula of simple yet addictive competition with the social and visual breakthroughs of the next generation of gaming. With unique platform racing gameplay, uh, ambiguous competition, and an ever-expanding destination for new content and features. The Trials Fusion experience is one, is what? No, sorry, whoops, uh, is never over. Take on a limited array of platform racing challenges in the unreal world of Trials Fusion. Using your skills to traverse across obstacle land and uh, ramp ridden courses, you must strive to set track records against the best Trials players around the world. Alone in career mode with your friends in the frenziest multiplayer or crazy global tournament. Competition is always available, so string together insane tricks and become the best Trials rider. If the official courses are still not enough, thanks to all the new track editor, you are able to create your very own tracks, let your imagination Asian run, uh, and you create insane tracks for every even more fun. Really, you want to run that shit? Uh, with long-term support for fresh features and content, the Trials experience will continue to expand and challenge players in new and exhilarating ways. Cool. Online multiplayer one day. Players, local multiplayer four players. Okay. And uh, it's about 10.01 gigabytes. Uh, and that purchase of around $7.45 to $39.95 NZD. It was published on the 16th of April 2014, around 12 o'clock on Wednesday. Do, 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 do. Any ratings? It's got a one, three one-star ratings, one two-star rating, five three-star ratings, one four-star rating, and 17 five-star ratings. So it's got a 4.5. Zero, so four stars. Now it's got a three uh, star rating here by uh, Witted Poem six nine three seven one, uh, published on the twenty second of the twelfth, twenty sixteen. It says awesome music, boring game. The physics are great and well implemented, but it's one of those games you only play for a week and then never play again. <laughs> oh, brutal man, brutal. 
Anyway, uh, that's Charles Fusion. Uh, next one, Red Faction Armageddon. So on the Xbox 360 page, it's about a four-star rating with uh, 113 submissions. About uh, R15, uh, originally around uh, fucking 59.95. So this game has been or is fucking free right now, or oh, will be free. So that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, it was released on the 13th of the 12th, 2011. It's around a 5.91 uh, gigabyte size. It's got a few, uh, quite a few content scattered around there. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, Xbox One. So it was put. Uh, it was uh, published by THC Inc. A uh, THQ, sorry. Games on demand uh, version supports English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Japanese. Mankind finds itself poised on the brink of extinction, deep underground. Darius Mason is humanity's last hope for survival. Ooh. Um, doesn't look like my type of game from the screenshots. Like, look at that. Well, well, you can't really look at it, but it looks pretty fucking shit. I thought it was first person. This game looks fucking shit, if that's the entire game. Holy fuck. I thought it was first person shooter. Anyway, run six point. Oh, no, that's six. Box ones. Okay. Yeah. No rating of reviews. GG. Probably will be once the game is free though. Anyway, that's all the games with gold for August. Yeah. So, uh, that's it. I'm gonna go now. Mm. And I'll play these games later. Uh, I'm still editing videos and getting videos ready. I'm not technically back from YouTube yet, but I'm still doing this shit. I need to do about a month's worth before I start uploading again. And then, as once I do a month's worth of videos, so like. Yeah. Two weeks of Crash Bandicoot, basically two weeks of Assassin's Creed. Once all that's done, I'm gonna start uploading, but making next months, and then hopefully have some fun time to do some other shit. Because if I can't figure out a way to do other shit anymore, because I'm working all the time, it's just making me tired. I'm tired right now. Then I just feel like I'm gonna have to like get like two months worth or something of videos ready. For YouTube before I can do other shit because I want to be able to do other shit man this fucking sucks that I can't make any music videos or other shit that I want to make because I can make a gaming video any old day all the other stuff that I've got on my mind that I want to release takes time it takes time and money and people and I'm not gonna be able to accomplish it if uh, I'm spending all my time making these videos anyway I'm gonna go uh, so please leave a like if you share this enjoy, subscribe more, and help me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Stay awesome, I know you love you and uh, bye bye bye. Yeah. Alright, no, the tree! Oh shit! Bitch! I look like my character from the Wildlands beta.